BCT as a unique outcome based business model BCT is a singular archetype company with a unique business proposition it has an outcome based hybrid business model that is solution driven and embraces everything novel and futuristic yet has a strong foothold in technology and business ethics driving differentiated value to customers strategic partnerships and joint ventures to scale up fast over the years bct has entered into several strategic partnerships with industry giants and niche technology players these partnerships have helped bct grow fast in multiple geographies the group has nine subsidiaries three joint ventures and two strategic partnerships the group has partnership with oracle ibm tipco zykus barnes and noble to name a few acquisition and investments in adjacent technology companies bct is a staunch believer in connected innovation it invests in adjacent technology companies like techion and cloudleaf while investment in techion resulted in a state of the art disruptive technology in automotive industry cloudleaf is a sensor based digital intelligence solution for asset tracking in scm industry it has been featured in stanford case studies uh, for twice in a year 2017 and 2018 delivering differentiated value uh, to customers in diverse verticals bct is a global provider of digital transformation solutions in diverse verticals leveraging digital and ip technologies such as digital experience predictive analytics iot ai and ml and cloud and mobility solutions over the years the company has expanded its solutions in oil and gas power bfsi government digital supply management and retail though bct's product offerings are built bottom up we believe in delivering differentiated value to the customers that is from bottom up we work along with the customers to adapt their uh, our solutions to their needs we customize this similarly for example our predictive analytics product fusion retina can be adopted to diverse verticals and customized based on clients needs drop thought bct sentimental analysis product can be used in multiple verticals the function of a cdo is actually cdo means chief delivery officer he delivers all projects that are in the company in any technology in fact they are both complementary as a cio i am in charge of infra internal automation and process infra and process are must for delivery infra keeps the lights on and the process gives the certification like iso etc for the need of the delivery human resource management inventory that is materials management and capacity requirement planning and production that is materials requirement planning erp in cloud is deployed in bhavan cybertech only in hcm that is human capital management because uh, so far we have been doing our uh, human resources management only manually all the things have been done manual but with cloud based technology because uh, since we have nine subsidiaries all over the world to track the data it is better to keep uh, cloud based technology because uh, our infrastructure needs will be lesser and that is why we are using cloud based technology for hcm and we also have automated our attendance system through bio monitors so that the attendance directly goes into the system the internal team structure in bhavan cybertech this uh, the ceo under the ceo there is a chief sales officer cso there is a cdo the chief delivery officer there is a cio which is a chief information officer there is a cpo who is a chief product officer and there is a chro who is a human resources officer and there is a cro who is a chief risk officer and cfo chief financial officer under the cso the multiple geo heads that is we have nine geos in various countries so we have the geo head this is the total sales and under the chief delivery officer the various delivery heads of the geos are also involved as well as solution 
experts of different verticals like uh, managed services, uh, Oracle implementation, these are all in play. And chief product officer is the head of multiple products like Retina, uh, Drop Thought, etc. CHRO is the head of HR and CFO is the chief financial officer. It is like that the sales brings in the business along with the de delivery that is a pre-sales, it is sent to the pre-sales. The pre-sales uh, looks at the solution and works along with the delivery to give a proper proposal to the uh, sales people to be delivered to the client. Based on that, the sales people get the order and it is passed on to the delivery people who manage the on-site offshore model based on which how many on-site and how many offshore people can be done and this is what is done.